protein, an essential part of your diet when it comes to building and maintaining muscle. But if you're new to this natural hair game, what you may not know is it's just as essential when it comes to maintaining, repairing, and all around strengthening your strands. Of course, we're talking different types of protein here, so they would be made accessible for absorption in different ways as well. But the fact remains that without you frequently renewing the store in your curls, you can pretty much kiss your long, healthy curl dreams goodbye. So without further ado, let's get into this video. College girls, college girls. So getting started, we want to define exactly what a protein treatment is. And that's just going to be a conditioning treatment with protein in it that you would apply to your hair with the sole purpose of replenishing its protein levels. You can really think of it as being pretty similar to a deep conditioner, except it's not at all focused on bringing moisture into your curls, just protein. And speaking of deep conditioning, if you need an explanation about what that process is all about and exactly how it's done, then be sure to watch this video. Now, this product pretty commonly goes by two names, protein treatment or protein conditioner, which is fine as they're both the same thing. But one product you do not want to confuse a protein treatment as being is a keratin treatment. These two are not the same. Keratin treatments are semi-permanent hair straightening treatments that will alter your curl pattern by making it looser. Protein treatments are all about fortifying the color texture and curl pattern you naturally have in order to make your curls pop to their fullest potential. And speaking of your curls popping like they've never popped before, or at least like they haven't in a while, this amazing benefit will happen as a result of all the other benefits this process gives. From making your strands more resilient to damage, repairing ones that have been affected by color and heat, strengthening those that have been weakened from daily wear and tear, and as a result, making it possible for your moisture to be more readily absorbed and retained, it's no surprise your curls would be on their best curl popping behavior with a healthier sheen and color to boot. And on top of all this, you'll be even happier to hear that you, yes you, no matter who you are, can reap all the benefits of this process because protein treatments are for everyone. So if you haven't been using them, run, don't walk, to get one as soon as possible because chances are it's the treatment your curls have been waiting for. Now, after hitting your track star to the nearest beauty supply, there are two things you need to keep in mind when performing this process. One, how often to do this for best results in your hair is going to be very characteristic specific because generally this isn't a process that can be done once a week or even every other week the way deep conditioning can you're really going to want to learn your hair first in order to properly add this into your routine so you don't end up experiencing a phenomenon called protein overload, which can leave your hair dry and brittle like straw. Now, if you're starting to feel iffy about applying this treatment to your hair because you don't want to end up causing protein overload, I completely get it. And that's why I created How to Make Natural Hair Grow, a free training on hair growth, which is linked down below and will be popping up in a card now. In this training, you'll learn the most important characteristics you need to know about your hair and how to make a custom routine specifically for them, including processes like protein treatments so your curls can grow long and strong without you worrying about damage from overdoing it. Thing number two you wanna keep in mind takes the idea of knowing your hair characteristics a step further by emphasizing that you also need to know if your hair is color damaged or heat damaged. Curls experiencing either of these will need more frequent protein treatments and would likely benefit from even stronger ones called reconstructor treatments until their protein levels have been as restored as they can be in order to prevent any long-term adverse effects like extreme dryness, breakage, or changes in pattern or texture. If you have natural curls suffering from color damage, heat damage, or maybe you just want more personalized one-on-one -on -one help and getting longer, healthier hair that you can be proud of, then you want to enroll in Want Healthy Hair Just Ask. In this one-on-one -on -one coaching program, I have helped dozens of naturals dealing with a range of hair issues, see more health and length in their curls, and become confident enough to continue seeing these results on their own for years after. 
The link to enroll is linked down below and popping up in a card now. So now that we've addressed all the need to know background info on this process, ain't nothing to it but to do it. So let's get started on exactly how it's done. First, you're going to want to cleanse your hair however you see fit. Whether that be shampooing, a clay mask, co-washing, or another option. Then, once you've rinsed out your regular conditioner after letting it sit for three to five minutes, now is the time you would apply your protein treatment. That's right, before you apply your deep conditioner, because while this process is great at fortifying, it's terrible at moisturizing. So choosing to do it last would leave your hair super dry. After you've applied it and made sure all your strands are coated, you want to allow this treatment to sit for at least 30 minutes while it goes to work. And using some form of indirect heat during this time is highly recommended for maximum effect. After that, simply rinse the treatment out and always, always, always follow up with a deep conditioner. Yep, whenever you perform this process, your curls will be getting treated to two treatments in one day because while they'll be loving you for the protein you've helped rebuild them with, they'll also be dying for some intense moisture immediately after. Remember, protein is good at fortifying, not moisturizing, so you don't want to skip this step. Once your deep conditioner has had time to properly do its magic, all that's left for you to do is rinse and style as desired. And your newly strengthened strands will thank you in the weeks to come by being renewed in texture, <laughs> pattern, bounce, and color. And now I wanna hear from you. Have you used protein treatments on your hair? If so, how often and how do they work for you? If not, why not? Leave your answers, tips, and tricks in the comment box below and I'll respond to as many of you as I can. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked it. Hit it even if you didn't. Leave a comment down in the comment box below and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. College girls, college girls.